Hey, Howie, thanks for signing up for this portfolio review. Um, you are the last portfolio review of my day to day, and I'm actually really excited to look at your website. I was clicking through a little bit before, and I think you've done some really cool stuff. And um, I think I have the impression that you can take a little bit of a, you know, of more critiquing and direction all in, you know, with good, good intentions. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I have your website here. And so first of all, one, um, I've seen this template from Squarespace a few times now, but this is the better version. This is, this is the first version that I've actually enjoyed seeing. So I think that's great. Um, I will say this though, Howie, you, again, you strike me as a, as a person who has some, um, who has an opinion about design, you know, and I, I want to push you to think about how you want to present yourself with your typography and your colors. You know, I don't dislike this, but a lot, I see so much of this, right? This really kind of bold, friendly sans serif. And I question, you know, can you, can you, can you do something a little bit different? You know, I love your little, your little cursor that you have here. And I love this, uh, this moment of when I hover over it, it changes. I think that's great beautiful. Um, I love that this is like a new work feature section. You have animation going almost potentially too much animation. Um, I, I th think you need something up here with all this stark white. I question if you need it here necessarily, you know, um, but I'll let you decide. I don't like also that these are different colors. Potentially think about aligning that. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm never a fan of like these, like, here's my strength and abilities and my skills. Like let the work speak for itself. You know, don't, don't call out Adobe creative suite. You know, it doesn't, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you use. And realistically, like people are going to kind of assume you're using it. I just think it's kind of, it's somewhat silly to have you know, all that stuff. Now, if you were to get rid of this section, you kind of put yourself in a situation where these two sections now come together, you know, you, like, do you need a featured work section if everything is just being in, you know, brought into the grid anyway? I noticed that like, technically this is your featured stuff, but then when I get down to your actual project grid, like it's kind of mixed and I don't know where some of that stuff is. So, you know, Think about it. Do you do you really need this section? Do you really need this section if the next thing after your header is your work? And I actually think that would be really nice and simple. Um, what I will do though is I'm gonna go here. That's all I have to. That's all the work I have to show for now. Thanks for creating. Um, let's get direct. You know, let's make a cool CTA here. Let's let's like entice people to want to email us, you know, let's work together or something, not like that, but you know, something that we can really push, push the viewer to get in touch with you. Um, you know, that's all the work I have. Thanks for coming. You know, like not so much. Uh, let's go to this one. This one immediately caught my eye with the animation and I thought it was ripe for the picking. Logo design, brand editing. Wonderful. I love how it comes together, very organic, and then it gets very structured. Super cool. Yeah, that's great. That's a good animation. Awesome. I could sit here and look at that for a while now. And 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 it's you have this is a great example of giving the viewer an opportunity to pause, giving them reason to stop. Like this is catching my eye. I'm looking at the rest of this, you know, this copy here before I decide I'm just gonna scroll through everything really quickly. Vision of opening a premium hair salon. Salon. I like how you're using the circle to, you know, call out to really kind of highlight specific details. That pattern is hurting my eyes. I think you either need to make it smaller or potentially put it on a mock because it is, it's vibrating so much. There you go. Something like this. I actually would think, I actually do think that 
in terms of the ex final execution for this pattern, I think making it smaller would help and potentially even giving it a, a little bit of space, right? Like this space, Ooh, I don't like how the cursor disappears. I see why now it has that, that purple dot or the, the magenta dot. This space in the V and the A doesn't necessarily match this space. So I'm curious as to like, what can potentially be done? Maybe it is just the size of the pattern that needs to be smaller. Maybe it is there needs to be a little bit more spacing. I don't know. Something to think about if you want to revisit. Mm, I don't like how you broke the perspective here. Um, this isn't my favorite mock, but again, you know, like if we're going to use a mock like this, I don't like how you break the perspective to show a different asset. But I mean, this is good work. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of this pattern, using the pattern in this way. But again, I'm getting picky. And I know you can, I, I know you can take it. I do think it would be interesting to see what it would be like if you just only like, okay, like, cool. I'm guessing that's like something for Christmas or something. You're losing me here with some of this type, right? I would want, I, I'm interested to see what it would be like if you use just the V and the A that, that mark, you know, very large in imagery, right? And what would that look like? And how can you use it to frame some of the typography or some of the messaging that you're, you're trying to expose? Cool. Good project. I like it. Let's go back to work. And then I want to click this one, new book. Okay, great, great, great little header image. Give me a setup of like what I should expect. I like how you're including extra details here. You did this ad agency, blah, blah, blah. Very clear, awesome. Great, before, after, love it. Nice little animation here. Is this, yeah, this is an asset, yep. Okay, cool. yeah i don't know if you need that you know i don't know if you need this i don't know if you need this I, it's it's not it's not as snappy as you want it to be and i wouldn't say i don't know if this is like part of the like the actual motion for this brand it just isn't yeah there's like flickering going and not going on it's just not my i would almost rather see it like that kind of like you know standard mock where things people are blurred walking past it and you can see the images and stuff like that i'm going to get rid of this image you're sort of repeating the same assets here and this is like a i've seen a lot of designers do this when they're working on websites or they're working on landing pages or whatever, they make it like the last image and they keep all the things like really tiny. Like websites are super important. Everyone needs a website, whatever, whoever's brand tagline that is. Everyone needs a website. And that is a big piece. That is a big chunk of one money for you as a designer, as a creative working with clients. And that is a big part of a brand as a, from a client perspective, you know, like, and, you're not giving this work an opportunity to shine. And so one, I always like, like to recommend, like you should think about the order in which some of these things might actually cost at the end of the day, if you know, to a client, right? Websites up there, website is, is not cheap. In addition to that, you know, if we were to prioritize the separate from how you worked on this project, um, you know, with the agency and, and they, the client told you they needed these assets like immediately. So that gave it priority. I would argue that one, the logo and the branding is, you know, item one, right? The next thing I would argue is that potentially the, uh, you I, actually, yeah, the logo branding, you can go through the style guide like this. Sure maybe more focused on like the messaging or like the, the tone of voice from the brand, like encouraging approachful, like really paint me the picture of this brand. Then I'd walk into something like the website 
then I would walk into something like the overall marketing campaign. Then I would have, you know, these extra bits of like, here's print materials and here's icons, you know, that's kind of how I would structure this project. Um, if it was mine, if I had to present it. Okay, let's go to the about page. Love your little moments of animation here. Great, snappy, catch my eye. Awesome. You have your resume like on the page, which I love. Um, consider like not hiding them. I mean, I guess, but you know, like, is there, is there a need to, can you just kind of like give me a little bit of like, so all of this expanded, can you just, you know, make this your current one? Can you just make some of these really short, like one or two sentences and have them on the page and, you know, change the hierarchy of the type of it? Something to think about. It might be better to have a full picture of that experience rather than hiding it. And then a contact page. Also, don't, don't understand why on the about page there's a shadow here. Something to think about. Let's have a chat. Great, awesome. Well, Howie, I hope you found that helpful. Um, enjoyed your work, enjoyed your portfolio website. And I think you can just tweak a couple of things to make it really kick ass. So um, have a good day.